Most amazing top 10. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. What's up, y'all? So we're about to talk into this video by Most Amazing Top 10. This is Top 10 Craziest Karens of 2020. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into the video. Let's go. A Karen that won't let you pass, all the Karens who refuse to wear masks, and do not a Karen go. who wants to do break not the collect a hundred dollars. We have all of this on today's <laughs> most amazing top 10 list. I'm your host, Jay Dorena, and let's get right into it. Coming at number 10, we have Car Leaning Karen. There's this weird thing that Karens will do when they think they're in the right. One of those things is taking a parking spot when they don't have a car. I don't know why huh? these Karens think that they can work outside the formality that we've set forth like technically you don't need a car to stand in a parking spot but people also don't need to not run you over we have the rules that we live by so that we don't have constant chaos well this Karen wants to break those rules and doesn't think that anything bad should happen to her Like, what is this lady thinking? She can sit on a car in a parking lot and stop them from taking a spot? She does know that cars are more powerful than people, and someone not using their car to push you over or out of the way is part of the same formalities that let the person who got there first get the spot. And you know that person was there first because they're ahead of the other car. The wild thing is, there's two spots opening. There's room for everyone. You so got your big ass like sitting on my car, to though? Have that one specific spot for some reason that none of us will probably ever understand i hope that her daughter krista who was in the car scolded her mom for being one of the craziest karens of 2020 like get in the car lady your time is up uh, next on the list we have no mask or grocery shopping karen we all know the rules put on a mask or they're going to kick you out of the store it's a very simple system that's what okay you to leave threatening the store sorry you can leave no, you, can you can get leave. out of my right face here. get out of my Please. face ron uh like, I don't know what you're fighting for at this point. You came to do some grocery shopping. They aren't going to let you do your grocery shopping because you don't have a mask on. So all of a sudden, you don't need groceries anymore and you want to fight. And the cops are coming. So you aren't <laughs> going to convince you the staff to, to let you go grocery shopping. Everyone in there hates you. Just get up and leave. You're like a kid on a playground that sits in the middle of the basketball court so no one can play. Eventually, those kids are going to get physical and move you out of the court so they can have fun while you sit on the sidelines and guys hit that like button because it really helps us out next on the list we have home depot karen how should we be acting in public well you should hope that everyone is civil with each other but it would seem that some people can't do that because of a simple thing called a mask no it wasn't the pharmaceutical companies pushing drugs oh, on television I'm so it wasn't these. monsanto <laughs> messing around with food no it's not the fact that a ton of people in the world don't have clean drinking water it's the fact that someone asked them to wear a mask that's what's going to set them over the edge that's what's going to make them stand up for something. Well, when you have someone who refuses to respect the rules, sometimes they will act like this. The entitlement like is disgusting. Like a child. Yes, I am entitled. I'm white. I'm a woman. You're a white and you're a woman? Yes, I'm entitled. Oh, you're a So not only... Did she just admit to her privilege? Oh my god. Oh my God, she just admitted her privilege. Wow. Does this lady talk about how she's a white woman so she thinks that she can always get her way and get whatever she wants? Really sucks for every other white lady who wants to just be a normal person, not be associated with someone like this. But earlier in the video, the person filming talks about how this Karen threatened to cough on the person filming because they asked her to put a mask on. I mean, you do that to the wrong person and you're gonna catch some hands. Next on the list, we have- Like I said! Karen. This has to be one of the most famous Girl, Karen bye. of the year. You have a Karen at a Verizon store who just 
loses it. The reason she goes crazy is because she's in the wrong store. She was supposed to go to a location down the street, and the employees are trying to explain this to her, but she reacts like this. No, I guarantee you, devil, remind me of not getting out what they want. I see how the Verizon's are. never got my PO box. The weird thing is that she keeps bringing up the mafia and the devil. Like, lady, this is a phone store. Like, the phone companies might be coming for you when it comes to your data, but I don't think they are in legion with the devil himself. I think you can relax and just go down the street. And the wild thing about this video is that when it ends, the lady leaves the store and goes in search of the other store. She could have just gone through all these steps without freaking out on someone in customer service. We really need to give a shout out to all the people in customer service. They deserve way more more respect for everything they deal with every day. Next on the list, we have no service for Karen. One of the wildest things about the no mask thing is people are doing it because they say it's their right to not wear a mask. Okay, well then it's a business's right not to give you service because you don't want to follow the rules. That seems like a pretty fair trade-off. If you want to live a certain way, then you have to live with the consequences of your actions. Well, this Karen doesn't like that. <laughs> they turned off the light here and they want they won't service me, and the lady walks away. What is she crying for? Miss Karen is having a breakdown in the store because no one will check her out because she doesn't have a mask on. She's fully crying because she can't get cashed out. If it bothers you that much, you should just put a mask on. Also, if you really don't want to wear a mask, you can go to somewhere that is okay with you not wearing a mask. I don't think crying is going to make people give what you what you, you crying want, especially for? when you're a full Shut the fuck grown up. person. Shut up. When grown ups cry because they don't get their way over something simple like a mask, it's hard to take them seriously. After that, we got Speak English Karen. Some people really don't get it. You can speak whatever language you want. It's so much of an old racist trope, it's almost laughable. Like, if you're going to be racist to me or anyone else around you, at least try to be original. Spice it up a little bit. When some dumb Karen says something like, speak English, it not only tells me you're racist and uneducated, but it also tells me that you're not clever enough to come up with a unique way to spread your own hateful rhetoric. Your negative thoughts towards people, they're not even your own. You've been trained to think that way. It's a shame that this lady is Who the hell do you think you are? Canada, which is the most multicultural city in the world, and she thinks she can go around and tell people what language they can speak. Now, I don't think this video was taken in Toronto, but if you don't like what language people are speaking around you, then you can pack up and leave and go somewhere else where your small mind can feel comfortable. <laughs> Next on the list, we have Give Me My Pizza, Karen. Why is this, like, scary? <laughs> What is it with Karen's and not wearing the mask? It's just not something worth fighting for. This lady in the next clip wants to fight for her right to party. Just kidding, she wants to fight for her right to get pizza without wearing a mask. Do I think this is a hill worth dying on? No, I do not. But she really wants to go for it. You see how people. So apparently, she ordered pizza online and she came to pick it up, but they won't serve you unless you have a mask on. There's almost no one in the pizza place, so you could literally just put a mask on for two minutes that's required so you can grab your pizza. And her excuse for not wearing the mask is the <sighs> medical condition, which is always such a wild excuse to me. Because if you already have something that makes it hard for you to <laughs> medical breathe, condition? And you catch oh my what god. Do, you think is going to happen do to they your all body? say that You're shit? You're going to be done for. Next on the list, we have fast food Karen. You know when you see someone <laughs> freaking out in a fast food restaurant, you are at the peak of entertainment. People who like to throw down in a restaurant are a special kind of person that the internet loves because it can't get any more embarrassing than screaming at someone or wrestling around with someone as the fryers are beeping because the nuggets are done. this one Woo! i don't even know the full backstory of what went ah! i didn't know these two are going crazy but frankly <laughs> they both seem like karens they're going hard over who knows what and when someone starts calling you the devil and crossing their fingers to protect themselves you know you're in a whole other realm of crazy you're trying to cast some sort of spell on me or something i don't know what's going on here but i wish it got 
even crazier. I would have loved if someone started to throw straws and trays at the other person, and then the police had to come in and arrest them both. God, that would be perfect. And the next one on the list is more fast food Karens. I love Girl, how Karen you don't need to learn how to cook. Restaurant and expects to be served like she's in fine dining. Like you ordered fast food and it didn't come the way you wanted? You had to do something extra to get your order right? That's crazy. Who would have thought that paying dirt cheap prices for food that's basically poison might not get you treated <laughs> like royalty? I'd like an explanation why I couldn't buy biscuits and gravy with my mobile order that I'd have to go back around when I've added stuff to an order before. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have to take your SUV all the way around the drive through to get your biscuits and gravy? I'm sure that's <laughs> so hard for you. How on earth could someone put you through such a traumatic experience? <laughs> Chick-fil-A, don't put Chick-fil-A in this. Push on the gas for three extra minutes so you can have someone give you food through a window that you didn't have to make yourself and you paid for through a phone. Your life sounds so hard right now. I'm sure everyone around the world who struggles to get clean drinking water every day would weep for you. How about next time things don't go your way when you're ordering something from a fast food place, you just say, hey, sorry, could you fix that one thing? And they go, oh, thank you so much. And then you move on. And in our number one spot, we have Nurse Karen. For our last one, we just have a picture, but I will tell you that it deserves the top spot. How do you think you can be a nurse and break COVID laws? Could you imagine your mom or grandmother goes to the hospital for something non-COVID related and their nurse gives them COVID and then they die because they thought it was funny or rebellious to not respect the laws? Like if you don't work in a hospital, you have a friend over, it's for your mental health, I get it. But if you are a nurse and you're going out of your way to challenge a pandemic, yeah, you're one of the craziest Karens of 2020 and you deserve to lose your job. All right, guys, I've been your host, Che Dorena. This has been Most Amazing Top 10, and I'll see you next time. My question is, the people who always complain about, like, wearing a mask and not wear wanting to wear a mask and all that shit. <sighs> I hate to say this, but those be, those be the ones that need to fucking catch the shit because I wonder if any of those people have caught it. You need to learn a lesson. I'm gonna say it again. In my last video, I told y'all that I had COVID. That shit is horrible, okay? It's not a fucking joke. Like, it's terrible. And these stupid bitches be complaining about, oh, it's my right to not have to wear a mask. Bitch, it's to protect you. Like, i am just be curious. Like, do these people catch it? Do these people ever catch it? Like, it needs to be like a follow-up story or something on the people that go viral for tripping out about wearing a fucking mask because i don't know it's it's, it's so stupid but... <laughs> all right y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video bye